In this tutorial we'll be going through how to export the character from Reblip Studio, clothing it in the software like Marvelous Designer, and then bringing it into Unreal without the need to rig it or paint weight it in any other software. So I had a lot of fun making my character, I had to speed it up for you. Now I'm exporting it so I can take it into Marvelous Designer. There's a small step we'll be able to skip and future updates of Reblium, but right now we need to go through Maya, Blender or similar and export a separate FBX that we're gonna import into Marvelous Designer. So in that case I already used the ready outfit that was uh, simulated on the Reblium avatar and I just imported my character as a morph shape and so it morphed into that and then I uh, adapted it to fit the larger character. Once your outfit is ready you're gonna export a USD file only the patterns on the thick output and don't include opacity and include garment simulation data. In Unreal Engine we're gonna use Reblium SDK importer plugin. We're gonna name our character, uh, get our DHS file which is the proprietary unique file for Reblica and uh, here we have our character ready. Now we do see an issue with the beard. Unreal 5.4 has this uh, bug we need to fix in the SDK where skin cache doesn't get turned on so until we fix that we're gonna go ahead in the project settings and turn that on uh, additionally what we need to tune here with 5.4 is that it creates automatic LODs for the hair so we don't want that because we're not getting that close anyway so we're gonna disable them basically put it on manual so now we have our rooms showing properly and finally turn on Chaos Cloth Asset from the plugins. That will allow you to right click, go to physics and create a Chaos Cloth Asset. You can give it a name and open the asset. Inside that asset you're gonna see a big blueprint with all the settings for the cloth simulation. In addition for the skeletal mesh scanning. So first you're gonna load in your USD file that was exported from Marvelous Designer. Once that's imported, you're gonna see your garment inside of Unreal Engine and you can go ahead and select the Reblium Skeletal Mesh which will transfer the weights automatically for you from the Reblium Mesh to your new garment. Once that's applied, you basically have your uh, garment rigged and skinned already to your character. All you have to do is add it in the blueprint which we'll do a bit later. Now I'm showing how to add the physics assets which we'll need later for the cloth simulation. So we're gonna make a physics assets because we can't have simulation without a physics assets. So we created a pretty generic one that creates one on all of your bones and you're gonna go ahead and edit that to fit your character as well as you can. Uh, this is kind of a trial and error process, you're gonna probably go back and forth a few times with the simulation settings. But for now we're not using simulation, I'm just going to show how to use it without simulation which is also very good, saves you the rigging and the weight painting and you can just bring any garment from Marvelous Designer into Unreal Engine in a very quick and seamless way as you can see. Here I'm applying the animation blueprint that will allow me to control the character using the third person controller. Next I'll make a tutorial on how to do that. If all you want is to automatically rig your garment to your Reblium character, you can be finished here. And if you want to see me add a little bit of simulation, you can continue watching. Now back in our cloth asset, we're gonna go to the paint the max distance and this is where we can tell the engine where we want the cloth to simulate it. We don't want to simulate everything because that's heavy and finicky. So it's better to only simulate the places you want to see simulated. So after a few tweaking the settings, tweaking the maps, uh, I was able to get this results which works really well and you could use in your game or in anywhere else. And yeah, that was the tutorial. We have a lot more coming up, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to come to our Discord channel or send us an email, uh, links below.
and uh, yeah have fun using Reblium Studio and see you next time